Hi, my 4B friends, Miss Remitz here. I thought that for your first online test, it would be nice if I showed you kind of where to go, what to do, and you know what an online test might look like, and to remind you to turn it in. Now, today, you've been looking in here in the slides for all your activities, and here's a link for Epic for when you check it out, but there's also the link here for your math test. This is basically just a test to warm up your brains and see, you know, how much you learned in kindergarten and what I can do in first grade to help you get better and better at math. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on that link. So you'll have to back out of our Google Slides and go back to your assignment for the day. Don't worry, there's one made for each of you. So you can click on it and do whatever you want. Maybe don't delete your instructions though, that would be bad. So in this test, I can't go and read every question to you, but if you need help reading the question or what the answers say or are supposed to be, you can ask a parent for help, but a parent should not tell you the actual answer. A parent could show you in this one that you have to drag by clicking on these ovals and drag the ovals over to what you think is the right answer. It says, which two buttons have two holes? Well, if I thought B was the right answer, I would bring my oval over to B. And I would have to find one more that I think would be the right answer. And then I'd move on to the next slide. Sometimes you'll have to drag ovals, and sometimes you'll have to type your answer. What numbers are missing? Hmm, can you fill out the number line? Enter a number to complete each sentence. The number blank goes in the blue box. Well, if I thought 1,000 was the one that goes in the blue box, I would click on the box like that, and then all I have to do is type the numbers. It's already ready for me to type in there. Just be careful you don't type any letters. You only want to type the numbers. If you type it wrong, you can hit the back button and erase it. If you don't know how to do that, you can ask a parent for help. There's going to be 17 questions. And when you're done, it'll say, great job, you're all done. Don't forget to turn in your work in your Google Classroom. Yes, once you're done all of these questions and you had only help reading from a parent, not help solving them, you'll be able to turn it in here with all your other work. So it'll hand in the videos and you know Google Slides you looked at telling you what to do, and it'll hand in your test. It doesn't hand in Epic, but what matters is that we hand in our test. If you can't finish your test today, that's okay, but do your best to finish it before Monday's class because we will be going over the answers to the test, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. You can see if you got it right or wrong. Either way, this test is to show us what you need to focus on in first grade and what you learned in kindergarten. Well, I wish you the best of luck and make sure that you take your time. Bye.